Oh my God, dude! Can you believe? Fairless like we are so Sixers. close to a auditions. I, uh, auditions. You know, I I'm looking forward to um, May. I am looking forward to May because I mean we're we're already in. I know. And as far as I know of, nobody has invited me to participate in the auditions. Who did we bribe to get back in? You didn't pay enough. Uh, apparently. Because we didn't get that VIP for yeah. the auditions. But at least we're back. We are back. We are back. That That's a positive. For us. Well, for everybody else, too. <laughs> well, it, it's actually kind of funny because I got a lot of cast members that are reaching out that are like, yo, dude, I miss you. Which... I, I miss my family. Yeah, I do too. I I, I miss I, do too. I miss all the craziness, and I can't wait to get into the more shenanigans and have more fun. And I mean, dude, we're just starting off. This is this is our season that starts up, basically. Right. I know. So you know what's funny about it though, is that the the fair begins the season, but that ends our first season of the podcast. That's not so, funny. So no, it's kind of bittersweet. Okay, bittersweet I'll take, but that's yeah. not funny. Well, it's funny. It's not, what, do you, what do you it's mean? Not f- funny. Am it's I, not funny. Ha ha! It, it's it, funny. Weird. Are you, what am I, a clown? Yes. Do I make Do I make you laugh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Joe. You know, I, I will tell you what, though, dude. It, it is. It is kind of awe striking. It is that the, we've made it this far. Well, yeah. Quite yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I mean, I, I when we started this, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna have enough material. But we've made it work. <laughs> we've got, we've got material. We've got material that we haven't even got to this year that we need to but move that's, into next. And, and next we're, we're continually coming up with more and more ideas. And then, and then, so I mean, dude, it's it's awesome. But it's fantastic. Hey, Enough bullshit. All right, let's go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'm Rob. I'm Keith. We are the Renaissance Rascals. We are. Today, we are going to talk about something very, very special. What? It's Spag- the Renaissance Spaghetti. Rascals. Oh, no. No spaghetti. Yeah, you see that look? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm staring him down. No. Right. Uh, spaghetti is cool, but um, yes. more importantly, sir, auditions. Auditions. Oh, yeah, I should have read the screen. Yeah, that, it's on the screen. It's oh. right, right, right there. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> We'll I, I put then. these, you know, we get Steve to put these things up here for him, and he doesn't bother to read them. <laughs> Steve is not good with communication. This is why I can't do scripting with him. He doesn't Dude. read the scripts. He just glosses over it. I do I cliff s- notes. He skimmed. I skimmed. <laughs> yes. I We're going to talk about Renaissance Rascals. We're going to talk to you about auditions, auditions. today. Why? Um, because if you don't do an audition, you're not going to be on cast. Yeah, dude. Um I mean, there, there are very few people that I've ever met <laughs> that have been have gotten that golden ticket. It, it, no, I can't think of a one um, who didn't do an. I was, I was, I, I, I guess I would have a silver ticket because I, I got, I got notification like, dude, you're, you're, you're in for an audition next year. Yeah. So, you know that that was cool. You, um, you, yeah, you kind of fast tracked your way, but you still had to do the audition. I still went through the audition. But before we get to that, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is going to be one of my favorite places. I need a <laughs> this now not, not that one. This is one of my favorite places. Uh, they're, they're a great meadery located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. They are Drakkar Meadery, and yeah, you can actually go. check them out online, drakkarmeadery.com. The, the, the link is up there. Great flavors, homebrewed. Um, by homebrewed, I mean they have their own longship style um, tasting house. If you're in Colorado Springs, check them out. They're off a of circle. If not, go there and you can order it. I will tell you, I have had, had mead from around the world, literally. Yes, you have. Uh, because I got some in, in uh, Shannon, Ireland, and that stuff was whoo, potent. Oh, yeah. Um, but these guys... They're they're real close, and they've got some great flavors coming up. There's supposed to be a new one coming out. I think it's honeysuckle and orange or something like that for for uh, spring and summer. Okay, so it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna try to talk them into making a Renaissance Rascals. Uh, if they can get a blackberry one, that'd be good. They already have a blackberry. Do they? Yeah. We'll get one. Of those. I, I'll bring that. I'll bring All that right. up for opening weekend. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. But that's our sponsor for today. You can check them Yay! out. Drakarmeadery.com. Tell yes. them Rob sent you. <laughs> They'll charge you more. They'll probably <laughs> charge you double. Be like, we hate that guy. So let's get into it, man. Let's, let's do it. Let's talk about it. We're doing the uh, the Renaissance Rascal Special Edition. We're talking about auditioning for the fair. Uh, Keith and I do Colorado Renaissance Festival, Santa Fe. 
Yes. And we're going to go crash the gates at um, Arizona. We'll <laughs> try not to get kicked out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have high hopes, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, well, considering that we're just performing for the cast. This is true. With the cast. No, 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 no. We're interacting with the interacting cast. Interacting with the not cast. performing. Um, everything's a performance for me. Yes, but, you know, the powers I mean, that be say we can't here. perform. Look I am a diva, and I will not be be restrained. Okay, All right, listen, Mariah, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna do what what <laughs> needs to be done. So, our auditions have yet to be announced. No, they have not. But we have it on good authority that they're coming up soon, soon, very, very soon, very, very soon. Now is the time to start preparing. Yes. Uh, I wish I had prepared more. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to get to that in a second. We will get to that. Uh, and it, Just to make sure that you're on track with uh, all the sources of information that you need to know about, uh, start off with our page, yes. Renaissance Rascals, on Facebook, or you can follow us on YouTube. Um, we're we're going to put announcements up. When we know, you will know. As, as soon as it hits the Colorado Renaissance Festival page, I will disseminate that information it's funny that you say that, like, like right up there. I know. Right up, and look, right, right it's at coloradorenaissance.com. You can check that site. Um, don't do like Keith and refresh every 15 minutes. It, I promise you. <laughs> I it doesn't nothing. change that much. It, it doesn't, but, you know. Al- I, although I, we are waiting on the announcement for the themes, um, too. Yes, and that's that's the other thing that I'm yes. waiting for, the yes. themed weekend. So, But... I, I'm, I've been holding him back, and he wants to get into it. He wants to talk about it. <laughs> well, we do. Let's talk about our auditions. Yes, um, our auditions. I, I'll let you go first. Well, thanks, Rob. Yeah. Yes, my audition was nerve-wracking, and it was painful. Disastrous? Um, it, no, it, no. I got on cast, so it I'm wasn't, just using it wasn't big that words. disastrous. <laughs> well, maybe it was disastrous for them. It's, yeah. It is all perception. No, no, my you know my edition actually went went pretty well for so, you know, uh, but I, I I I was woefully unprepared. Well, hold um, on, you went through two auditions though. I did. Okay, so, so the first one. So the, the, I'm talking about the first one. Okay, uh, my first audition, I, I was not really prepared. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, it is, um, oh, how do I say? Uh, I, I, I sh- uh, it's it, un- unpreparedness, you know, really. Kind of like um, now. Kind of like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, seriously, it was, it was. I, I thought I had everything handled. I was like, I'm gonna nail this, you know, because I've, I've, you know, some extensive. So you had that acting. false confidence. Oh, well, I totally did. Okay, because I, I mean, I've a lot of acting background, so right. I thought, well, it's just another audition. I can kind of wing it, and um, if, if. I, I wish I'd have been a little more prepared, you know. Um, I wish somebody would have had a podcast like the Renaissance Rascals that would get you prepared for an audition. It's odd that you say that because that is the, the number one reason why I wanted to start this podcast. <laughs> Ex- yes. Was that and to, to, to kind of help not just new people, but myself continue to develop the roles. Yeah. I mean, I, I signed up for this podcast because... You, you had just, nothing better to you do. You just said, hey, I had an idea, and I, I went with dude, it. Dude, it, it, um, literally, you had nothing better to do. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so so I, I, I wish, you know, I, I wish someone would have sat me down like, we're going to do with this episode and go, hey, look, this is this is what you need to do, da, 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 right. you know, A, B, C, and D. Right. Um, and, and so that's why after, you know, that year... Anytime someone said, hey, what, you know, in, in even before we started this, it was... You know, hey, what do I need to do for the audition? Hey, let me tell you about my experience, which is what we're doing here. It's so odd that you say that because last year I, I got I had lots of people come up to me because I was one of the new new members. I was one of the right. rookies. How did you get on cast? I'm like, well, I, I auditioned mm-hmm. um, and they, they have that announcement that comes up on Facebook. It comes up on on the, the Colorado Renaissance dot com website like you, you like. They tell you what they want from you. Yes, they do. And and rise to the occasion. Uh, but my story is a little bit convoluted. Like I said, I had a silver ticket. You did. You 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 kind of were like I said, fast tracked. But yes, it, even even if you had bombed the audition, when they're like, uh, oh yeah, dude, that wasn't the guy we thought it was going right, to be. Right, right. Or 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 they could have been like, dude, that guy's a lot funnier when he's drinking. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because this is definitely a position where you right, can't, you can't just be drinking all day. No, no, but at all. So you weren't ready for your first audition. No. So how did you like? How did you make it through it? Um. 
a lot, uh, kind of like you and I do mostly. Uh, I winged it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I leaned heavily on my improv background. Okay. Um, Which is actually a really good thing. So it, it was a good thing, and I think that's may have been one of my saving graces is I'm very quick with things. Yes. Um, so when they kind of threw Just different... Not physically. <laughs> not physically, no. No, all up here. All yes. up here. Yes, um, Mental acuity. Yes. Oh, How do you like that? Oh, that was good. Yeah. That yeah, was good. Yeah. I like that one. Um, yeah, so I, I think that was my saving grace is, is you know, uh, hey, you know, he's got a great personality. Mm-hmm. You know, I project when I talk. It oh, was, dude. I didn't talk like this when I was... A, uh, I, I think that's a know, big thing when it comes to auditions. A lot of people are afraid because it's it's public speaking. Yes. You know, you're you're in front of people now... One thing that I, I, I found, like I, I do karaoke um, and performing in front of a bunch of people that are that are drinking. Dude, they're probably more <laughs> vicious than any casting director I've ever seen. Yes, they are. Um, it's kind of like Simon Cowell, but yeah. he's not being paid. Yeah, no. So, and no. they can't tell him you can't say that. So uh, that kind of helped get me ready. But there's there, right. we've, we've talked about some tips in the past on how, you know, past episodes on how to kind of break that cycle of I'm I'm in front of people. Yeah. So how did you feel going into your in, into your audition? Um you know, I I did a lot of preparation. I I may have overthought. I you know, it, it's so, <laughs> so I do talk So we're about, like the tale of two <laughs> Yes. Two yes, because I mean, so my thing was like I said I had a silver ticket. I had I had left my mark the year prior and I was you know, I I interacted with I didn't know it at the time. He's the casting director. Right. Um, I had no clue who he was. Uh, I was just there having fun. And uh, our our Princess of Ireland, Erin O'Grady. And I left a mark. And so that was, you know, I, I, the, the words were, do you want a job next year? (laughs) And I said, I'll audition. But remember, you know, again, my brain, I, I, I'm nothing is ever 100%. No. Oh, you know, so it, it's not official until it's official. Correct. And, and my thing was, I didn't want to seem arrogant. Right. Like, like what are the, the responses that one could come up with for, do you want a job like next year? Well, hell yeah, I want a job. I'll see you here next year. When do you want me to clock, clock in? I took the more humble approach of, yes, I, I, I will consider auditioning. Right. You know, and so then the auditions came. Now, Bear in mind the 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 small performance that I had. It was memorable to them. Right, right. And I knew this when I walked away. So I over prepared because I wanted to make sure that I lived up to what I had left behind. Correct. Because as as we always state here at the Renaissance Rascals, it's always and then and then yeah you know you had so, to build on your previous correct yeah. Or at least, or at least equal it. Yes. Yeah. And so, no, I got you. you know, I, I, I was like, how am I going to do this? And so I started like, my, my mind was reeling. I was like, okay, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta have a character idea. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. And I didn't have a name or anything. I was just like, this is the concept that I'm going to go off of because okay. all casting that I've ever done before was like, you're going to audition for this role. Right. Well, there was not a list of like these are the, the 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 positions or the roles that we need need filled like this character, this character, or whatever. Right, which you know? is which is different for here because you, and, and we'll kind of get to this, but you you are just auditioning for a role, not a specific role. Correct. You're so, just you're just hoping to get in. Yeah. No, dude. I was like, okay, so I'm I'm gonna create this this pirate, and. The comedic, uh, the, the the monologue. I did my monologue. I created this this. So my monologue was based on a uh, pirate who came up with a new hobby. Nice, I like it. Yeah, knitting. Knitting. Yeah, yeah. And All so right. I I did it with the the uh, the brogue of uh, a golden age pirate. So my my voice was the accent was that of of like um, not not Jack Sparrow, more along the lines of um, what's his name um, Barbosa. Okay. So I, I went more Barbosa, Jeffrey Rush than I went um, Johnny probably, Depp. Probably for the best. Y- you know, especially now that I'm, I'm like, dude, don't <laughs> don't do that. Like, don't, don't do it. So uh, yeah, I over prepared, but then I was caught off guard because I was like, okay, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, and then this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. And when everything got derailed because oh, we're we're doing it out of sequence, my brain went, okay, what the hell just happened? Right. And so I had to on the fly 
correct. Yep. So it was great, though. It was a great experience because, you know, everybody was very welcoming. You know, it was it was 100% a professional audition. Yes, absolutely. You know, I, I, I've heard of, of some people at different festivals that are like, well, this will be a breeze. All I got to do in there is just go in there and act like this. Maybe maybe toss a little little sass or whatever, and then I'm in. Yeah. You know, and it's like, dude, that's not how this works. Like, that is, it is like, not how this audition process you, works. You, Whenever you audition for something, you know exactly what the role is, what your attitude is supposed to be. This is a blank slate. They yeah. give you a concept, and that is it. Yeah. Which thankfully, because, you know, um, my time on the radio was actually what really helps me with my improv. Right. Um, just coming up with things on the fly. Also, I do uh, tabletop role playing games like D&D and stuff like that, that. That helps me out with that. Dude, shut up. It's acting. Well, I didn't say anything. Oh, my God. It was Steve. Yeah. He calls me a nerd and dresses up like he's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He even has the little cap gun. Pow. Pew, pew, pew. I hit you. You need to fall down and die. <laughs> oh. No, you didn't. You missed me. <laughs> I actually want to do a. <laughs> I want to do. I want to do a western show like that. Uh-huh, I know you do. We'll do, the, we'll do the reenactment of the OK Corral. I hit you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> I've been stone dead in a moment. <laughs> but I mean, my my audition like. Unlike any other, I, I will say that in, from my perspective, re, you know, auditioning for a Renaissance Festival is unlike any other auditions I've ever done. Yes. Because, like I said, there is that set role. There is that set attitude that they're looking for. Even in voice acting, like, we want you to have this demeanor, this bro, you know, this this type of, <clears throat> of brogue or whatever. Right, right. Um, there was none of that. Yeah. No, no. And, yeah, so that... that that my first, so my second audition, <laughs> because, well, I I, I, I I had changed roles. Yes. So I went from one role to another role. So, so when you change roles, you have to. Re- you, you have to audition again. Okay. You have to go through the audition process. So okay. that was, it, it was infinitely easier the, the second time, you know, because. Well, yeah, because you know everybody. Because I knew everybody. Yeah. So it was just, I, I was just joking as I got Didn't in. Didn't you joking. tell me they were like, what are you doing here? <laughs> No, they all knew I was coming in, but I was trying to keep it super professional, so I was introducing myself, and they were like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? And I'm like, you hired me. Don't don't look at me. I'm, like, you, I'm in a role. Hello. You, you, you have brought this on yourself. Um, so, yeah, my, my second my second audition was was a piece of cake. And, yeah. and, and, Hi, my name but, is Keith. I'm here to audition for the role of Baron of Ambrosinia. I did. Pretty much. <laughs> it's like, I was like, hello, my name's Keith. Nice to meet you. And they're all like, oh, God. I don't know why I just made you sound like Kermit. I, I know. Well, you know, being, it ain't easy being green, my friend. <laughs> it's not easy being green. So, but it was a lot easier, but I mean, oh, absolutely. there were still some pitfalls that you had going into that. Oh, for sure. We'll talk about that for when sure. we start because, talking about that character development in a second. Because even though I was going through the audition process for another character, I wasn't 100% sure they were going to accept that character. Oh, really? So, yeah. So this was just kind of like a, hey, what's your idea kind of thing. And, oh. and so, so I, I could have been walking around with somebody that is not... The Baron of Umbra City. You could have. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could have been I said, like... I said, I want to change characters, but it's it's ultimately the the casting director that has the final decision on if you get to change characters. Right. And luckily, he, you know, after I explained my very, 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 very oh. detailed... Uh, yeah. Long. It was long. He I, hasn't showed me, but he's told me his tales of it. I will tell you what. <laughs> So, so if you do a character, you want to basically be able to describe your character in about 30 to 40 seconds. Okay. Just a quick thing. Three hours later. I, I wrote, <laughs> I wrote a three page backstory on my, on my character. See, you guys think I just say these things just to say things like li- literally. Yeah. So that was the biggest pitfall is like, okay, how, how are you going to break down three pages into you know well, 30 to 40 seconds I'll, I'll tell and, you and how I did you it do and it. it was great I'll tell you how how you can do it go back I think it's episode 6 that we talk about um, that the one sentence 
Yes. Breaking it down into one sentence on what your character stands for, what they mm -hmm. mean. Um, this is something I, I even use in my, my current, like, actual real life, is, like, I, I break down my life into one sentence, who I am in one sentence. Right. Because it, it kind of helps recenter you as the actor to bring yourself back to what your character stands for. So that that's that's where Keith kind of failed. He went to, oh oh yeah, one one sentence. You mean a full episode, right? So so I kind of <laughs> I kind of so after the first audition that I went through and I was woefully underprepared. You were massively I was over massively overprepared for this one. So. Although, but it worked out. It, it so it did work out, and that's that's a good thing for all of us. Um, but one could even take that that extensive background that you wrote and use that on different days or weekends of the festival uh yeah and most, actually most act likely, those yeah. out you know who knows maybe there's a little bit of uh foreshadowing there nah. possibly where's that music coming from i don't know <laughs> freaking <laughs> steve <laughs> so let's talk about we, we, we were talking about like requirements and stuff like that yes um in preparing, <laughs> in preparing, you need be, to read. Be prepared, but read the requirements. Yes, um, not everybody can can wing it. No, I, I I think my my first rule of if I have any advice, if you take anything away from the show, is is the 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 night before you go to your audition. Damn it, get a good night's sleep. Don't, like, don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. I, I went drinking the night before. Yeah, I just I, I was so I was so wrapped up nervous inside of myself because I didn't want to bomb. I, 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 I mean, I was up super early. I drank a whole pot of coffee before I went in there just trying to be awake. I was all jittery. <laughs> and then it turns into, hi, my name's Keith. I'm here to audition for the yeah. Renaissance Festival. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> yeah, this is really great. I can walk around the whole Renaissance Festival in less than 30 seconds. Here I go. Yeah. It's so, so yeah, dude, get, get a good night's sleep. I yes. mean, it, think about it this way. <laughs> the audition process is going to go one of two ways. Good uh, or bad. <laughs> you're going to either get it or you're not. So, I mean, do, do the best you can. But we are here to help you. So, yes, there. once once the audition thing comes out, you'll submit your name uh, uh, for, for an audition. And then the casting director is going to send you <coughs> an a invitation for the the audition and then he's going to give you these requirements so these are from last, last year. year and and the previous years are very much the same but yeah and i think it's safe to say that most of these requirements will be universal for renaissance festivals <clears throat> i think you know i mean a lot of this stuff is is auditions in general you right. know, I, I've even had some of this stuff because, you know, I do haunted houses. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of this stuff is, is still the same. You know, headshots, character ideas, you know, costuming, this and that, you know. Um, so we'll go down the line here because we're going to talk about these. Uh, let's do it. 60 second comedic monologue. Yes. Now, bear in mind, we're, we're not looking for like an uproarious laughter when you're writing these because you can't you can't know what somebody's going to react right i will tell you it is really good to practice with somebody else uh yeah, have people I, prove I your stuff man seriously uh then you go into script reading or improv there's there's options for that it's really at the casting director's uh discretion yep um then you've got your resume that you're going to set send ahead of time uh we'll talk about the resume because this is a big one for a lot of people that may or may not know how to write resumes uh and Writing a corporate resume doesn't really work for festivals. No. I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Um, headshot. <laughs> we'll talk about the, the, the possibilities for that, uh, the requirements for that. Character ideas. Uh, and then finally, we're going to wrap it up with uh, bringing your own costume. All right. So the 60-second monologue. Yes. Yours was different. Mine was different. Mine, I, I just kind of rambled. Did you have to do a 60-second monologue for the second one? No. No? No. I no. think I would have made you do it in character. So, so yeah, my, my, my second audition was, was completely different. We, we basically just kind of were trying to hash out character ideas sure. and this and that. So it was, it was, I wouldn't really even classify it as an audition. 
um, because a, I was already going to be invited a, back to more cast. Of a character pitch. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of a sales pitch. You okay. know, hey, I got this idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I but you still I still had to sell that character, um, which I did because hey, here we which, are. Which that's why I'm saying like I you know, if if it were me, I would have made you do a, a, a comedic skit. Yeah, well, see, the the whole thing was is, <laughs> is I had I had this character that I wanted to do, and I had this whole background, but until it really got approved, I didn't flesh out like how he walked, how he talked, how he did, you sure. know, what his costuming was. Because sure. I was like, I don't want to put that much effort into it. If they go no, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of hit the high points, yeah. you know, of, of who it is and and what's going on. So that's why. You know, this last year was really kind of a trial run of let's see what works, let's see what doesn't work. Um, you know, costuming this and that. Now yeah. this upcoming year is, and then and then oh yeah. So this year is a completely brand new costume. Yeah, um, which I you know I'm, I'm probably right there with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna yes. roll out a new costume as well because uh, <laughs> I, I just think that you know. One, it, it is like we were talking about having having costumes is multiple costumes is always nice because then you're not always, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 that that weird. I mean, but you funk. know, like the, like the kids say, our drips got to be on point. That, I mean, are, are we talking about the somebody soak my rag? Somebody's in the kids water? say that. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, All righty, back my, to the monologue. My monologue, like I said before, was was I, I actually drafted a a sixty second monologue. Okay, that was about that centered around the pirate uh, who uh, was picking up a new hobby, and it okay it went into detail. I think I got it around here somewhere still, uh, but it talks about like there's nothing more fearsome. Than uh, <laughs> a knitting, a knitting pirate. pirate, and and I tell a story. I told a story about how I stood on the prow of the deck knitting away, which completely baffled uh, these these uh, everyone the 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 this Spanish uh, galleon that we came across so much so that they were afraid that uh, because I was insane, I would just murder them all. So they surrendered. And wow. so yeah, okay. no, and it was it was it was a very comedic thing. Maybe I'll record that. Um, you know, I'll dig that up and I'll record that. Maybe I'll post that up on our TikTok yeah, or something when I start that up. That'd be good. That'd my, be funny. My, my, uh, so I, I, my original like monologue that I was going to try to get down was a, a scene from Monty Python. <laughs> was it really? Which yeah, one? Yeah. Um, so it's it's when uh, King Arthur was originally going to find the Knights of the the Court. Okay. The Knights of the Round Table. Or the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah. And, and and he's going through the field and he's like, old man. Woman. Oh no, no, he goes, old yes, woman. Old woman. Man. man. Oh, sorry, old man. I'm 37. <laughs> what? I'm 37. I'm not old. Well, I just can't call you man. You could well, you call, call me, me Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> well, I didn't know your name was Dennis. Well, you didn't bother to ask, did you? Yeah. So I was gonna do that that whole that whole scene, and then I was just like, once I kind of got. But that's in there, not a monologue, though. It, well, it does. It, it, it is a monologue. So it just has to be a sixty-second scene. It's but it's two people acting. It's not a monologue. Well, Mono, monologue means yes, mono. But I, one. But, but, <laughs> but I have nine personalities. Yeah, that doesn't count. So Ooh, maybe we should make all nine personalities audition. Well, you can't because that one. <laughs> The ninth one just. I'm hums. trying to get you in trouble here. The, 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 <laughs> the, the casting one, director is going to see this. He's going to be like, "Yeah, that's a great idea." The ninth personality just hums, so it's, well, uh, he's not. I, it'll be like the unicycle guy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that story? Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a, a 60 second monologue. Figure out something you know that that is going to, you know, be be entertaining. Yes. Don't, you know, don't be droll. Well, and and again. <laughs> Comedy is subjective. Oh, you, you very. Could, you could go for the the funny ha ha, or you could go for the funny huh. You yeah. know, like there's there's different ways to do it, and I think with mine, I wrote it so that it had different tones to it at different Correct. times. Um, it's always awesome when you're delivering your monologue and the people are laughing. Like that's yes. always a good a good thing. That's that that was one of the mo- those moments where it's like, oh yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, Kids, that was like five minutes in. Yeah. After my introduction, they said, do your monologue. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I did my monologue. They're all laughing. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. And they're like, now we want you to do improv. I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. speaking of uh, 
oftentimes, and this was my biggest fear because like, you know, I've done acting. I, I've done things for, uh, you know, Armed Forces Television Network. Uh, so I was on commercials. I, I did news and, and I had my, my were they, radio Were show. they short commercials? Um, some of, actually, yeah, ah, 30 see seconds. What, see what I did 30 there. seconds, yeah. 30 yeah. seconds was our hit time. That was good. See, I'm, I'm blasting past that. Because, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm not. I'm still stuck on it. Well, yeah, because you're still stuck in the doorway. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, they need to make bigger doorways. Uh, no, you need to lose some weight. Well, most likely. <laughs> Okay, that's fat shaming, yeah. and that's wrong. Yeah, well, you were short shaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was pointing out a fact. Uh, I'm pointing out a fact, too. Yeah, but yours is hurtful. I mean, I'm just saying, you can't fit a square peg through a round hole. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm in shape. And it's just and it's circle just, is a yeah. shape. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, but you're going to do some, you know, typically yes. you're going to do some improv, uh, or or they'll hand you a script, and they'll they'll say, hey, just... Read through this. Yeah, read, uh, read through the script. And you're going to read a... those lines with somebody, and it's going to be either... Mine was with a, one of the assistant directors at the yes. time. Um, so I did I did some improv, um, just kind of bounced lines off yeah. the assistant director. And, Same. Um, and, they gave and, me a scene. They said, okay, so the Princess of Ireland is trying to, <laughs> is, to run away to a different life, and she's come to you as this pirate captain wanting to seek umbrage on your ship and i'm like oh cool yeah and so it went and and i was i was still stuck in that funny mode you know so and again it's not like i'm driving home punchlines. it was just the sly digs she she asked well you know um first she asked well you know what what's the pay and i said well i don't know how how much are you comfortable paying us you know, and, and she was like, oh, well, I didn't realize that I was going to happen. Well, let's talk about the accommodations. And I said, well, yes, you, you'll have your own room. It's directly below the bilge. Nice. And then she was like, well, you know, I'm used to having attendants and, uh, you know, people wait on me. And I said, there's some rats down there to keep you company. <laughs> Get used to disappointment. Yeah. So it was it was all just like those stingers that you and I are really good for. Just like those one yeah. hits where somebody in an, as an audience would go oh dude that's funny he's actually talking mad crap to this 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 royal <laughs> and so i was getting some laughs out of out of the, the the panel that was there for my audition um but it was it was definitely like hey this is fun but that's when i realized dude i like playing with these people like oh, yeah. this is amazing i hope to god and you now you know i left out of out of the audition feeling pretty good but I was still on pins and needles till I got my my letter saying, "Hey, how yes. you doing?" See, that's that's what we were waiting for this whole time. Is yes, your official invitation yes. letter. So when you do those script, uh, the script and uh, improv, they'll tell you to. They, they may or may not tell you, "Hey, do it in character or as, as in your own, you know, in your own interpretation or whatever, whatever words they use." Just follow the directions, kids. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think I was winging so much that. My improv like was they, already kind of like they were like, probably <laughs> reacting to you rather than leading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next resume. Resume. Resumes are very important um, because this is in a in a in, in on one sheet one one sheet. Okay. Uh, unless you have like something amazing to share, keep it to one sheet. Okay. Single page because we are thespians. Yeah, there's a good word, too. That's a good word. Yeah, yeah, it's a great word. Um, and creative people typically will read through one page. I mean, most most headhunters will only read through the first page. So keep it simple. Yeah, I just have short attention span, so um, that I just skim the first page. Which tells me that Keith is actually one of the best people to actually have look at your resume. Yes. Because... He his attention span. If it's like, and then I did this and this and this, he'll let you know. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, if you do want us to take a look at your resume, uh, we're probably not qualified for that. <laughs> no, but you can send it to us. You anyway. can send it to us anyway. We'll take a look at it. You want to highlight your acting experience? Anything? Um, anything that you have done? Uh, major roles, minor roles, whatever you want to do. Uh, stage experience. The reason why this is exper- uh, important. We're not just talking about like. Oh yeah, I was on stage. No, I'm talking about like what you've done to help set up and tear down a show, because that's kind of important. Because some of the things that we do as entertainers at the Renaissance Festival is um, special events that you're there, gonna be part there of. There are special events. Um, you, you are going to be not everyone, um, but they like to rotate it through. In, though in, in in the past, I've I've had to help. Yeah, you know, well, the. <clears throat> 
we, we do have a day of rehearsals. Um, and I, you weren't there for that one, I don't believe, last year. Oh, the setup. Um, when the, we set up yeah, everything. Yeah, no, I was there for the teardown, though. Yeah. So there's a day where we set everything up. We set up the pub. We set up the green room. I know this is all weird to people. Um, but, yeah, we, we set, set up, up the, the pavilions. The, the pavilions. Yep. So there's, there's, a, there's a couple hours out of that day where... We put everything together. So, you know, so if you make it past auditions, make sure you have some good work gloves yes. and good solid shoes to work in. Work shoes. Shoes. Or boots. Boots. Yeah. And pants. Uh, and pants. And pants. Uh, yeah. Pants. Pants is probably, I, I whenever I'm, I know, like, I, I, I approach that with uh, long sleeves even. Because I do. Uh, yeah, you can. It's, it's you can. To me, I equated it to working on a ranch. Yeah. Well, last year was uh, cold and rainy. Yeah. So that's true. It, it actually it <laughs> we had like two hours where it, it stopped raining. So we're like, let's do it now. And we just we busted the stuff out, and then right at the very end, it started raining again. So back to the resume. We also want to highlight customer service skills. Yes. Because customer service skills, because that is talking to people. Yes. Um, yes. Which, Public speaking is also a good one to, to include if you have, like, um, what's that? Um, the guys that hit the bell when you say, uh, um. You know who I'm talking about? No. <laughs> You're no help. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's, I, feel, I feel like a ball was dropped somewhere. No, no, it's 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 on the tip, <laughs> tip of my tongue. It's um, there's there is a group of people that Toastmasters. Oh uh, yeah, God, they I, they help you get past the us, the ums, and, yes. and public speaking. So if you have like credentials like that, like you know you participated uh, with Toastmasters or are a member of blah 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 blah, you're with whatever improv group or whatever. That, add that to your resume. Uh, and also include any, any relative skills that you think might be of use at a festival. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, cus- customer service skills. Do not list do, IT. I, <laughs> no, there, there's no IT. There's no phones in the Renaissance. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> um, what was I going to wow, say? I don't know where, where, that, that, where that was I going came with that? from. Whoa. Oh, customer service. Yes. Um. Customer service skills are super important um, because th- they those do hone your improv skills. Because you that have is to, correct. You have to think on your feet. You have to interact with the customers, kind of anticipate what they're going to say, what you're going to say, you know, and, and 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 have the answer, you know, to whatever question they have. It's so, funny you say that because I've been told by my wife not to use my customer service voice on her. Oh yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> definitely, there's definitely, it, it, it's different. But uh, but yeah, hi- highlight whatever skills you you believe you, you you believe are are relevant to to acting. Yes, and then we go into the headshot. Duck. Oh wait, wow. yeah. <laughs> this is typically an eight by ten, um, and they do want to see like a standard. Now you don't. I. I in in previous years, last year you didn't have to have a professional one done. No, it it just had to be you know uh, basically from uh, sternum to top of head. Yeah, uh, and they they were basically just trying to get a feel for what your look is, uh, and then there was bonus points if you did it in costume. So yes, uh, now if you are like like some of us that like to over prepare. There are lots of people that are friends with us on um, on Facebook that are photographers. We have friends. Yes, we have a lot of Sweet. friends. Um, like matter, of, matter of fact, one of our great friends, Becca, was just highlighted in a um, magazine. Yes, and uh, Christina is a fantastic uh, photographer. Yes, so I will tell you that uh, if you're looking for headshots like that, um, just give us a message and we'll uh, point you in the right direction. Right. Okay. Um, you can you can contact me. I will be glad to do your headshots for you. Uh, they will be completely unprofessional, and they're probably going to suck. But it may be a picture of him I'm, that you're submitting. It could be. <laughs> Make sure you review the photos before you submit them. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> but it don't don't go out of your way to just you know you no. unless unless you already have them laying around. You you know most people will take a a decent photo of themselves yeah that that shows themselves okay uh so yeah, moving the, on the, we're gonna the, put a lot the of headshot is is not necessary it's it's good if you have it but it's not gonna be a hindrance if you yeah know. it's it's not one of those like must have things the, the the comedic monologue your resume uh your improv that's really where i would put more money into yes. anything else 
Um, just because that's that that kind of has more importance. Absolutely. Uh, character idea. This is a big, big one. We may have started a <laughs> podcast about this. You know, I believe we have some episodes about characters. I think we talked about this before. I, you know, it sounds familiar like it's something we may have done. I think I may recall, perhaps. Yes. Perchance uh, you remember. Perchance. Perchance you, you uh, reminiscing of things. Yes, I, I do believe you are correct, sir. <laughs> uh, but go in with an idea. Uh, what do you want to do? Meaning, like, where where do you see yourself fitting? And bear in mind, let me get this out of the way because I, if I don't, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bunch of these. You cannot be an assassin that wants to kill the king. No, it's one that it's just not a good idea, and two, it's not a good idea. And three, what's the end then? Yeah, that's it's. So if you dumb. accomplish the goal, and then what? Yeah. Yeah, we, you'll never uh, you'll never attain that goal. So it's it's no, you know, think think about you basically roadblock yourself. You yeah, you yeah, put yourself into a corner. Think about the Shire. Think about you know the different you know jobs and occupations and professions and things and that you, go on in the town, and then go oh you know that'd be really cool. If you need help with those ideas, uh, by all means ask. You know we we I just. Rapid fire off the top of my head. Things that we don't have. We don't have a butcher. We don't have a baker. We don't have a candlestick baker. No, we do have a guy that sells waxless candles. Um, but I would not buy anything from him. He's kind of a shady character. I did, and that's going to cause problems in oh. the upcoming year. So what you're telling me is I may have to kill someone. Uh, most likely, yes. Uh, a, a public death, if you will. Yeah. Um, which means that I'm not actually killing him. I'm just going to make him feel real bad. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But other things that we don't have, we don't have shipwrights. We don't have uh, Wayne Wrights. We don't have uh, farriers. We don't have a lot of things that you would find inside of a village on the cast. Um, so those are ideas that you could throw out there. Not everybody can or needs to be a noble. No. Um, I know... Uh, Generally, every year, they're short on the King's Guard. Um, so that's always something that you can you can get into. The King's Guard is a good one. Um, God, what else was there? Uh, I'm waiting. I can't, th- I can't think I'm of it off the top him. of my head. But um, uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, you can always go and be a Baroness if you would like. Uh, we're not there yet. No, I I am always there. (laughs) And and if the idea. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. If the idea is to be on the court, um, I would say to kind of have an idea of of where you where you think the station is that you want to fill. Obviously, there's only one king. Yes, there's only one queen. So with with, and I I hate to dissuade people. Uh, there's only um, one jester. <laughs> there, there is only one jester. Um, there's no, only one professor. <laughs> oh, there can only be one. Um, the professor is a Highlander. He probably. Is. Ooh, this is a rumor. I'm going to start. I like it. Um, <laughs> no, no. What I was going to say is it. it, it Figure out a character that you want to do, but yes. I, I would start low and work yourself sure. up. Um, because if you don't already have the the clothing uh, and the accessories to be a noble on the court... You're going to drop a lot of coin. You are going to drop a lot of money trying to get that all put together between March and June. Yes. So, I mean, it, if you have the money to do it, fantastic. If you don't, I, I would start with maybe something that's a little easier costuming wise. That's why I went pirate. And then, and then you can always move up, you know, kind of like I did. Um, you know, start here, do it a couple years, and then go, okay, I, I want to do something different and move into a different role. Um, but if you actually but, write the character the right way, you won't have to change your role. That's true. Just saying. I didn't like my character. I didn't like your character. I know. <laughs> I don't like your character. I didn't even know your character. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually may have like uh, interacted with you as a patron before. <laughs> Probably. But it was like real quick. And it was just like, all right, whatever. But I mean, that's the difficulty is, is that when you go as a pirate. Yeah. If you're a pirate on cast, you blend in with all yeah. of the and, pirates. And that, was, and that was kind of where I was. I, I, I felt like I was just kind of in the background. Except for me. Part of, part of the... 
part. Well, you're more of a salt merchant. Well, I mean, but I'm saying is, is like my 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 version is a little bit different. Yes, you know, yes. because it's. I'm more historically accurate than the Golden Ages uh, pirates. Right, which so, don't belong in Larkshire for another 200 years. You know, I'm not going to... We've already harped on that before. I mean, dude, if you want to do it, do it. Go for it. Have yeah. fun. You know, I mean, those people need representation on cast anyway. But it, it's just one of those things where it's difficult because you're not going to stand out. Yeah, no, no, no. You're definitely going to blend in the background. I mean, our good friend Adam Bell told me, dude, stay away from the, the, the typical pirate colors because you want to stand out. Yeah. So that's why I went with the green outer robes because, dude, I pop. And the triple extra large hat. Yeah, but that's because sunshade. Yeah, I know. I know. There's not room for two under there, though. But yeah, come, <laughs> so so yeah, come up with an idea of what you want to do, how, you, how your character fits into the Shire, how your character sounds. And the last thing on the list, uh, 100% be flexible. Yes. Because you may go, I want to do this. And the cast and director goes, hey, I can really see you doing this. Or I need Or I need this. And you, that may not be what you want to do, but. Own the role, man. Own the role. Take it over and go, you know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. You know, and that, you know, not to be doom and gloom, but. That could be the the make or break of, of if you get on cast or not. Right. You know, they go, well, we don't need this role. I really wanted you to do this, so I'll find someone else right. who's going to do this. But, I mean, it's it's an opportunity. Go, yeah, go in with an open mind. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Uh, talking about costumes, since you brought up brought that up earlier. You I know, did. Um, I would say, if, if depending on what it looks like, if you have something that, that I would, regardless, bring it in on a hanger. So that people can see it. Yeah, you you don't have to wear your your. Um, you don't have to. You don't it. have to wear it to the audition. Just bring it with you. I mean, I you could. Well, I mean, you could, but you, they're you, gonna you, they're gonna go, dude. We told you you didn't have to wear that, right? You know, so I, just bring it with you. Yeah, I would just I, I brought mine on a hanger, and then I had um I had all of my accessories inside of a bag, so that I could pull it out. Right. You know. Um, and I think I left my staff at home for it because I was like, I don't need to bring my staff. I'm not going to be in character, so like, I'm not going to be wearing my gear, so I don't need to have that. Um, and my staff serves the function of your walking stick, uh, you know, your cane. Yes, yes. Um, but that was just, you know, it was there. Yeah. Uh, I, but it, I, so my my first audition, I, I just had pictures. I, I just had pictures of me in oh, okay. costume because okay. I was basically doing the same. I was a pirate. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so just from years past, I said, oh, this is what I look like. All right, cool. Um, and then the second year I didn't bring anything because you're I just pitching a character. I didn't know if I was going to do it. So I had, I, I'd saved all the pictures of oh, things okay. I was going to buy Okay, and go, Hey, this, this, which this. is actually a good thing too. In yeah. the event that you don't have those costumes, you have those yeah. ideas because regardless of whether or not you actually have them, um, during the audition is the best time because then you have the casting director's attention. Yes, um, and he he will clearly let you know if that will or will not work. Now, my biggest concern about my gear was my boots, so I brought my boots to make sure that that hey, are these going to work? And they were like, yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Yeah, you know. Um, so th- that is the one thing that I would tell you if you can do it, don't wear them in. Bring like actually carry them in because that is something that like one hundred percent that's going to help you out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but most importantly. Make sure it's, it's clean. clean. Dry yeah. clean it, wash it, do whatever you have to do because there's nothing worse than being stuck in a closed casting <laughs> room. With, with your funky fair clothes with, you with haven't washed fair in almost a year. Smell. Yeah, you're smelling like, you know, you actually, like, dude, method acting is cool and everything, but <laughs> that's, 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 that's not that's the extreme. right one. That's, that's too much. Yeah, that's, that's way too much. It is. But... I, I do like the idea of like having those saved, like like and, and yeah, presenting. Yeah, because I, be, I I didn't want to go out and buy it because then if they go, nah, it's not it, and then I'm like, all right, all right, now I'm stuck with all these clothes I'm never right. gonna wear. Right, you know. But I didn't. But then at the same time, I didn't know if I was gonna go back to my previous role as a pirate or if he goes, no, I don't want you to do that. But hey, I got this over here, so like everything was up in the air. So. I was like, uh, now see, and and this is the beauty of being a traveler from the east because my costuming, there's differences from the standard of the western. So 
in, you know, European or British, you guys all have a specific thing. I yeah. portray a character from the East, and it's a lot more different. Right. Uh, which is awesome, because for the most part, it's like, okay, cool. Now, I am anal retentive when it comes to it, and I, I'm like, okay, I want to... The Qin Dynasty or the Ming Dynasty is where my costumes come from. Right. Because that is the time frame that coincides with the European Renaissance. So I want to make sure that I'm wearing things that are the same from the same time frame. If I don't, then it's like, oh, look, it's a Viking. Yeah. 400 to, uh, years too late. Am I right on that? Is it 400 years? The Vikings... I think it's 400, 300 or 400 years. Uh, sure. Because that would put it 1100 versus 1500. I don't know. When did they first in England? Do you, do you want your historical expert yeah. to chime in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Viking period was a 700, uh, okay. 700 year period between 300 and like 1200. Okay. So, okay. so, so, so we're 300 years. Yeah. 300 years, 300 too, years late. too late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's that's great information there. But I, again, and, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concede to once again, you know, as much as much fun as I make of the the pirates, <laughs> they got some really cool songs, man. They got cool songs. They got some cool costumes. But yeah. you know, I guess I can throw this out there for I, you. I enjoyed I enjoyed my time as a pirate. Yes. So most importantly, <laughs> if you if you want to be on Colorado, Run if Sounds you're looking Festival, for a character idea, yes, and the, you have no clue where to start from, perhaps. A role as a Baroness of Umbrasinia because I have many and have had had I've, I've had many have had and you're not guaranteed the last that that's the the grammar in there have have had <laughs> have I, I have had many yes yes you would be lucky number six yes of course is it six or seven seven seven, seven. lucky number seven yes uh, you hopefully can, this this would be this would be official if you wanted to do it but unofficially that would be the way to go about it if you wanted to really be the the baroness of Umbersinia. Yes. but then you would have to put up with the renaissance rascals uh shenanigans for eight glorious weekends. you know i i was thinking about this um be- we'll, we'll have to have a separate audition process for no this. no I, I was legitimately <laughs> thinking about this because some of the things that we're gonna do in in modern societal and relationship convention would be it would be fantastic to have him no 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 no. it would be frowned upon because we will be pitching woo of course and and so you would have to find a baroness that is not averse to us pitching woo to random women true true so you know if they're a prim and proper lady then you're you're gonna end up with it's going to be a very short marriage. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this, it's, it's not guaranteed to last in, in, in any way. But um, yeah, if you want to hang out, if you, if, if you, if you. I wonder how many gluttons for punishment are out there. If your goal is to hang out with us for eight glorious weekends. God help you, my put, friend. Put your, <laughs> put your audition in there. Go, I want to be the Baroness of Umbersinia. And then we'll talk later. Oh, I have. And a, then you'll be like. I've got yeah. a great ending se- scene for the season, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of our favorite movies. Uh, which one? Knight's Tale. Oh, got it. At the very end, this is <laughs> this is the this is the divorce decree. You have been weighed, you have been measured, and you have been absolutely found <laughs> wanting. wanting. Yes. I don't know which one says it to who. Does she say it to you or do you say it to her? I, I think it's just it's gonna be both. I, I just think it's hilarious. Yeah. That's, and then I'll be on the lookout for Dude, another but one. what a great way to get divorced. You're right. And then the sword fight. Yes. That's that's oh. gonna be on the parapet. <laughs> that's gonna be on the parapet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wholly awesome. And if you and if you make spaghetti, if you bring me spaghetti, that'll move you to the top of the list. Just saying. Oh wait, we did we did talk about mushrooms. Oh, we did talk about mushrooms. Yes, yes. If you want to be a mushroom person, I don't understand. The, I still don't understand the mushroom people. Which would be even funnier that you get married to one. Yeah, because then. She brings spaghetti and she is the mushroom. So you have spaghetti with mushroom sauce. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? A lot. I know. There's not enough time for that episode. <laughs> no. That'll be it. That'll be an episode. We'll be special guests on the Dr. Phil show. No, I want to go on Jerry. Jerry's not around anymore. Who's the new Jerry? There's a new the the, the guy that actually used to do his uh Oh, Steve Wilkos. Yes. 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 We'll right. go on Steve's show. Okay. That that'll be good. 
Yeah. In character. But that doesn't have that doesn't roll off like Jerry, Jerry. No, no, Steve, but, Steve. I mean, we've got our own Steve, but he's and uh, he's horrible. Yeah, right. I need a I need a Dave. <laughs> we definitely we need, need a, a Dave, Dave from, from accounting. We need a Dave from accounting. I mean, and then there's. <laughs> See, he's got it. Dave's not here, man. Yeah, I know. We have to find Dave from And then accounting. there's Margaret, Margaret from HR. Oh, that's That is, yes. It's bad. Our staff is growing. Um, we're, we're, out, of nece- out of necessity. Well, of course. We can't do this all yeah. on our own. Producer Steve is probably the worst out of the staff. Oh, yes. Oh, I tell Dave you. from accounting, well, he's always in Bermuda, you know. Well. Bahama, yeah. come on, pretty mama. That's probably where our, Key Largo, all our sponsorship money went to. Baby, why don't we go? I think he embezzled all our sponsorship money. Off the Florida Keys. Oh Lord, have mercy! This is going. This is going wrong. That's what. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know that humming voice? Yes. Yeah, it was just translating to me. I'm sorry. I got you. It was speaking at me. But yeah, so that is auditions. Make sure you guys pay attention to uh, the Colorado Renaissance uh, dot com for announcements there. Uh, be on the lookout for the themes and the audition announcements. But one thing we did not talk about. What didn't we talk about? Music auditions. That's a completely different thing. That's a whole different thing. So, and the reason why we don't talk about that is we don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about the music auditions. But um, Keith's a drummer, but he doesn't do that at the Renaissance Festival. I don't. I am a singer, but um, we do that at the Renaissance Festival. We do but that's, that. That's, that's we, a completely different thing, though. You're yeah, not. Yeah. You could be a singer, um, part of the music staff, or you could be a street cast. You member. know, we do know a guy. A guy. A guy. A couple of guys. A couple of guys. But one guy in particular. That we could probably ask what the musical audition process is. Ooh. Maybe we should cover that in another episode. Yeah. Maybe are we do. Are we talking about Sebastian? No. No? Um, Kelpie. No, that's no. not a guy. Royston. Oh, that guy. That guy. Arlen McNaughton. Arlen McNaughton, the, the giggling, giggling fiddler. fiddler. Yes. Yes, we should ask him, and, uh, and, and that'll should, be a little part of the show. Should I write that down, or are you going to write that down? Oh, I'll probably. Steve, write that down. Steve. Oh, great. Friggin' Steve. You know what? I, I I just envisioned Steve's like monitor is just like pasted with a bunch of freaking post its <laughs> no, yeah, of totally. all the crazy crap that we tell him to put on there. <laughs> he's got one little square where yeah, post it like, isn't that's like all he's got. Little itty bitty, like just little square. <laughs> <laughs> More gruel, <cruel>, please. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. Get back to work. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> That's what I need. I need a sound effect for a whip. Yes. All right. That's going to be our next step. And, and I also and the shame. Uh, well, the shame. I so I'm, I'm making a list here. I need a whip crack. Yes. I need shame. Shame. I need thirty five. Thirty five. <laughs> yes, we need thirty five. <laughs> I need thirty five. Well, if if we get Lucinda for a show, we're going to record it. We're going to record her saying thirty five. Yeah. I know, right? Oh yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Actually, you know, we it's not really much foreshadowing. We've talked about it before. Um, we want to do character spotlights on on yes. the actors. because we, We've actually got a couple that are coming, lined up already. coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, we're going to be recording two more um, in the next couple of days. Yes. So we've got one with uh, our, our friend Flim Flam. Yes. Um, how, he's, he, how he fin flammed his way into the Colorado yep, how he, Festival. Yeah. And then we've also got one with uh, Arlen Arlen McNaughton, and actually we're gonna jo- we're gonna be joined by the uh, the tiny violinist for that too. Yes, she's gonna be fantastic. She's gonna kind of lend a little bit of credence to what we're talking about because I'll tell you what, dude, um, that's a beautiful story. And, it is, and we've got a, a video that we're gonna watch during that time too. Oh, so we're gonna do like back in, in school. We're gonna turn the lights down. Oh, uh, don't put your head down. Uh, no, no, oh, take okay, got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. You remember what the teacher used to say? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine just said it with a ruler. Yeah, yards take. Wake up! Oh, okay. Uh, that's the episode for today, though, guys. That yes, is, friends. That is what we were were looking to discuss with you. Just the auditions, what you want to be prepared for, how to get ready for it. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys have any questions, please, please uh, reach out to us. Uh, Facebook Messenger. Send us an email at Renaissance Rascals at Gmail dot com. Yep. Uh, we will do our best. Or you can give us a call at seven one nine five 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 eight eight three three. What is that number? I don't know. I just just a number I made up. Oh God! I was like, really? We got a phone number now? Holy oh, dude, crap. that would have been freaking awesome. I was like, Steve did something. Holy uh, you know, eventually, we, maybe we, we probably should get a hotline. Uh, to be honest, I can make that happen. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you know, for we, our for our live shows or something. Yeah, call in. Yeah, because I be can great. I can tie my phone to uh, the soundboard and we can try to figure out how to yeah. take calls. 
Yeah. Oh my God, we're getting crazy here. Yeah. No, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. If you guys have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, we can't give any like super specifics because there's an NDA out right now. Yeah. We, just because I, I don't want we don't want to step on toes, but we can give you general guidelines as far as as, as what the requirements yeah. are, this and that. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, I I, I I really want a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. Butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. That would be a good little trio to be walking yeah. around the fair. Yeah. If, if yeah. you're if you're going to show up with some friends, that's what you want to do. Do it, dude. There you go. Why not? I'm you, with it. You could even do three blind mice. <gasps> no way. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be that'd be good. Yeah. They're just um. They're they're three guys, right? Yeah. Here here you go. Here's the pitch. There are three guys. Their last name is Mice, right? The first brother's name is Larry. The other two are Daryl and Daryl. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Little Bob Newhart. Yeah, because then they can introduce a hi, my name is Larry. This is my brother Daryl, my other brother Daryl. Yeah. And and half the people at the fair will get it, and the other half will be like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean the professor will get a good laugh. Oh, about he'll it. totally get it. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I think everybody on court would get a good laugh about it. Mostly. You and I will be dying oh, because we made that happen. I will, I will fall out. <laughs> but uh, we've got more episodes coming up, and we, we are just counting down the days. Our brains are getting scattered because it's like, oh my god! Yes, uh, yeah, it's it's we're we're almost there. I mean, dude, what are we like? We should have a countdown. Well, as of as of today, um, and that we are recording this. Uh, what is today? Today is the twenty fifth of yes. February. So February 25th, this is the recording date. There's 111 days to opening day. No, no, I'm saying we should have a countdown like on on Facebook or on like like just that that you know, the the countdown timers. I can make that happen. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Like okay. like I but it it's got to sit there and be static. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can totally make that happen. I that, think that's if you can't, we get Steve to do it. Oh. <laughs> let's not Let's not. Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Make friends. sure that you're sharing this information to anybody that wants to join uh, a Renaissance cast because they're going to find this invaluable. Yes. Um, at least, you know, entertaining. Um, yeah. Make sure that you share us. I like to be shared. On Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, soon yeah. to be on TikTok once we get that uh, the, the more footage. I, I, you don't want to see video footage of just me and Keith sitting here talking to each other. You want to see us when we're actually on the job. Oh, yeah. That's going to be way more exciting. Oh, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Which, by the way, I may have um, I may have an opportunity if you're looking for uh, a quick day of work coming up in the summer. Um, we'll talk about that later. Yes, that'll be another show. Anyway, All right. I'm, I'm Rob. I'm Keith. And we're the Renaissance Rascals. Thanks we for are. tuning in, guys. Thanks, friends. Thank you. We will... Talk to you again. Oh, yes, don't forget our yeah. our, uh, Wait, our why, standard. Why did we go German all of a sudden? Oh, I don't know. We'll just... talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are so welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you visit our sponsors, <laughs> Woodland River Creations and Dracar Eatery. Yes, check out Oh, wow. Ca- I just, did Colorado? I go Dutch? I went Dutch. You went Dutch a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Just Who just... knew we had all these accents in us? I d- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that is one laugh I have yet to master. <laughs> Tim Curry's laugh. Yeah, he's. That's he, one of my favorite laughs. I don't think anyone really can. I. He, I would feel bad. He is. He is one of a kind. One me. of a kind. One of a kind. Tim Curry. <sighs> Alan Rickman. Yeah, gone too soon. What are some of my favorite actors, though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Was, I wonder if I could get away with doing a Renaissance version of uh, Hans Gruber. Probably not. And then we got to find a guy to play John McClane. Yeah. Hey, those are both names that would, would appear during the, the Renaissance Festival. It would. Uh, maybe Time Traveler Weekend. Ooh. Then I can walk around without shoes and <laughs> yeah. a tank top. <laughs> Like I can, like I can stand on the top of the parapet, and you can be Hans Gruber and fall off. Oh, can we get a, a big pad, a big crash pad? No, that would be fun. No, you just fall off. Oh, well, that's no fun. You uh, have an airsoft Glock taped to your back. Maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You can do, do the whole yippee ki thing. Yeah. And then you fall off the parapet. That'd yeah. Be, yeah. See, yeah. there we go. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they're totally not going to go for that. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, you're going to do what? Not, nothing? <laughs> I'm going to do it once. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a one-time show. What do they say? You can do whatever you want on your last day? <laughs> that would be the last day. My luck would be I'd fall and break my damn neck. Probably. That's why I wouldn't do it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Thanks a lot. All right, goodbye, friends. Bye. And then we stop, and we're good. And so now we reset. We got about two. Uh, we got about an hour before we need to worry about Royson coming in. You got gaming. Yeah, I figured I'd stop by though. No, so it, like, it's... like since, since you forgot, there's nothing prepared, so I'm just kind of like here. Yeah. So, no, no problem. No, it's, that's what we do. We'll, we'll, uh. <laughs> what I'm I, trying to get this set up for myself, too. Yeah. Like, what uh, I really need to do is we need to flesh out, like, exactly what concept you want to do. Like, what are you going to be doing? Are you doing, are, are we talking about just setting up so that you're doing your unboxings right now? Or are we talking about, like, actual gameplay? Like, actual gameplay and unboxings. Okay. Because I got a pretty good unboxing setup now. I mean, I got my TikTok going. I plan on restarting that here soon after uh, refund season yeah. uh, coming in. Uh, Once but... I get that table set up, it'll be it'll be awesome. Okay, yeah. Because this is a, I think it's a 48 or a 40, but yeah, it's a 42. No, it's a 48 from corner to corner. Because um, then we can have just small skirmishes on those. Okay, on, yeah. On that. No, I and then when you. we start, this asshole said that he might actually come to play with us if we do role-playing games when I build that Heck tabletop. Yeah. And, and, I, and I should what? Have, what? What am I doing? Coming down to play. I'm going to have a shit ton oh, of sure payroll equipment coming my way here in April. Uh, mother-in-law. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mother-in-law is going to be moving in, and she said uh, her ex-husband's uh, camera equipment is She's actually moving in with you guys? Not moving in, but she's looking at a place, and she's got like a pretty sweet deal on the north side of Pueblo. Oh, okay. Right now, and uh, she's just got to finish up all the, the the wills and testaments and the estate in freaking Oregon right now. Washington, never mind. She Washington. 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 Hey, thanks for chiming in on that because that that I, I do like to be. No, to, no problem. Like I, there, there there's probably gonna be maybe some pushback on what I said, but I would gladly argue to the pits of hell that like no, 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 so, no Viking Age could probably have started in like the 300 period near the fall of the collapse of the Roman Empire. So Siggy coinciding with the start of the medieval dark ages. And Siggy whatnot. was going to be a history teacher at one point in time. <laughs> he oh, yeah, seen the oh my god! He went, and then no district wanted wanted me. He went through. Uh, he was that was his college. Was he was going for his um, teaching? Teaching. Teaching history, anthropology, archaeology, so, all that stuff. I was going to be a cool. I was going to be cool. We no, uh, <laughs> we have a tendency of why did that flip? happened there okay there it goes um he's he's the guy that i like to bounce off ideas with yeah and then, and then again i would read i would argue yeah it's around the 1200s because that's when scandinavia got christianized and so that's when that's when a swedish king went nope we're qu- we're christian now and it was like oh well, okay that's when someone could go no that's when the viking period stopped so, i would agree with that statement yeah because viking is not christian Viking, Vikinger is not a very Christian thing to do. They, no, they well, call it crusading. No, well, the, they're they're also that's they're back then they were pagan before they mm-hmm. were before they yeah. acknowledged Christianity. Which was another character I was gonna I was thinking about doing. I'm glad you didn't because I I've heard a lot of of things about senior not wanting that kind of element. Yes. So, so no, like Jesuit missionaries and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah. You could okay. do a Jesuit missionary. Because they're like that was the cool thing about Jesuits is that there's a reason why they showed up in a lot of the world before yeah. colonization. Happened you could you could do Jesuit mer- you could do a Jesuit missionary uh, specifically with the mind of one traveling to the east. Yeah, because yeah. during during the 1500s, the the Jesuits were establishing themselves via the Portuguese yeah. in mean, Japan. I mean, yeah. the, 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 the <coughs> Spanish Jesuit Missionary Project is evident throughout all colonization period, especially in North American history, when the settlers finally show up and the Native Americans are speaking English to them. And it's, oh, it's because the Spanish Jesuit priests taught us English. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was another one of my backup things. Right. That yeah. if Lord Robert didn't go, then, well, I've got this... 
Viking kind of Lord King royal dude, whatever you want to call it. You know, blah blah blah. I don't know. Well, at that point, he'd be a Jarl. Yeah, Jarl. Thank yeah. you. I was but, trying to think of the name, the yeah. Lord guy. But at that point, you would be a uh, disowned or or the uh, the last. What do they call it? The last survivor. Mm-hmm. Because during that during the twelve hundreds to thirteen hundreds, that's when um, Uhtred of Bebenburg was doing his thing mm-hmm. because they were trying to unite England. Yeah, well, that, that's what I said. I'd have to figure out like during the fifteen hundreds. Yeah, this is the Three Kingdoms period. Like. Yeah. Be, yeah. 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 Like maybe not Viking, but Scandinavian. Oh yeah. You know? like, well, I, I think like at that all point, all Vikings would it be? were Scandinavian. Not all Scandinavians were Vikings. Yeah, exactly. Because so. Vikinger was kind of like something you did. It was a job. It was you were a raider. You were a trader. This is something you yeah. went. You went and you went and Vikinged. Like you were. Who, yeah. who were the? I like that. It's a verb, dude. Yeah, it's a verb. You went <laughs> out is, and, yeah. and you Vikinged. And, and and the term Viking just comes from their the the English bastardization of Vikinger, which is to Vike, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and, Sorry. And to Vike <laughs> meant it's true. Right, it's true that, yeah, yeah. That meant like their version of trade, which was very aggressive trade sometimes, which was raiding. And in those raids, whatever valuable they took, they probably sold back to you. <laughs> it's a very Ferengi thought process there. Yeah, that's how that's yeah. how a good chunk of uh, surpri- surprising, not surprisingly, but like a lot of the monasteries on the uh, British coast. Yeah, they got raided and whatnot, but a, much of their religious text was preserved because it was sold back to them. The Vikings couldn't read English. The Vikings had no use for Christian documents, so they just sold it back to them. Yeah, they took all the pretty. Pr- Put, took out all the pretty embroidery and the pretty jewels on the Bible and whatnot, but they got their Bible back. <laughs> Which I think, at the end of the day, it was you know the main goal. <laughs> Let's just give our Bible back. Okay? Well, Bible back. <laughs> you look at like the, the 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 tumultuous times in England from basically three hundred until. Until until the fourteenth, fourteen, fifteen, the fourteenth uh, century. Yeah. So it's so tumultuous that the Saxons came in. You know, you had Saxons, Vikings. Yep, yep, yep. The, yep. the Celts were still in Ireland yep. and whatnot. So it's like, holy crow! This it's it's an amalgamation of like the the pagan Western, uh, pagan Western Europe, pretty much that was just beginning to be Christianized. Yeah. Like heavily Christianized. Oh, hey, what are we going to hear? Uh, Footage. I'm prepping I for yeah, I got you. this one. Oh, look. I know those people. Yep. So I'm going to leave that dangling there. Um, let's go to our sponsor slide. You are a dangler. Go back to this. Uh, make sure that that hasn't corrupted that. Go back into this. not going to play it, but that's cool. Let's go here and then go back to sponsor. We're going to blow that up. Do we want to use the same sponsor or do we want to use a different one? Who haven't we done in a while? Want to do boots? Yeah, let's do let's do the uh, sons sons of Sandler. they were at one point or is that that have they always been windwalker no it's always been windwalker yeah yep Um, yep so you're gonna want a stream deck um how many how many um how many usb ports do you have on your tower 
I don't have the like an exact number, but I still got a lot. Okay. Because so, I got the backside. Now. Yeah, at the bare minimum, what I would recommend is one of these guys. And you don't you may not need a live eight. They've got a live four. Okay. So the live oh, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, the live four is is literally four channels, so it's much smaller. Okay. The live eight, I've got eight different channels that are available on this one. Okay. Um, I I got this one because of all of the fun stuff that's on the back that it that it's got going on. Okay, on the back end. Yeah. Okay. Catch up to me, you fucker. No, I'm. It's not going properly. <laughs> I was gonna say. It's like, all right, fucker. And then I'm gonna have her come down because I'm gonna have her actually Ooh, play a song. What is it? You, you, you told me game night and something really important is coming up for game night. Oh yeah, we're coming up on like our eight year anniversary for this game. Shit! And eight years playing Werewolf the Apocalypse, my man. Damn. Same same campaign, same characters, and I think it's like uh, like we've been recording it. Yeah, we've been recording it for eight years. They're, they've been on YouTube for eight years. Holy shit! And they get so much recognition. Um, well, like our GM definitely has his fingers in a lot of other stuff outside of werewolf, the, uh, the werewolf campaign. But where our campaigns sometimes show up uh, well, in Onyx, not Onyx Path. Who is it now? It's Paradox. Ranking. Is it per Paradox? It's Paradox. Uh, Paradox now. So uh, our videos are showing up in Paradox Monday morning, like uh, their staff meetings. I mean, mm. like staff meetings. <laughs> Where it's like, and here's this group, like, a bunch of gamers has released their, like, 100th episode. Yeah. And stuff like that. You all should go check it out. And it's, like, announced on their website and everything. And it's, like, holy shit. Would you get that kind of clout, dude? That's oh, pretty man. fucking badass. But right now, what is it? Our GM is kind of, like, on this crusade against the 5th edition. <laughs> the 5th edition for the all the stuff that's coming out. Because it's it's not the oh they're ruining my like you know game I've been in for years. It's no legit. They are they're firing staff, writing staff that's important to the group. Because if they're trying to become so PC and woke, why the heck are they firing their Native American yeah. writing staff? Like two twenty is time time hack. He'll be here at two twenty. Two twenty. Okay. Oh sweet man. Yeah, this is great to see. Oh, yeah, get, get but see, and here. that's it's it's easier to do it when you have a partner that you can bounce. Right. Uh, and what you're talking about doing, you're going to need somebody that um, will be able to bounce off of you, especially when it comes to the games, mm -hmm. like when you're actually doing demos. Yeah, because like, yeah, it'll be cool play my Mech Warrior online, but it'll be kind of suck if I'm the only one talking. I'm right. Only, I want to play with people. I want other people right. to and that's, interact with. That's the difference, and and I, another person you could talk to is Dave. Okay. Um, in in a warehouse. Yeah, Dave. Yeah. Dave Dave's great when it comes to streaming. Because he he does it. Yeah. He's he's done it for a while. He doesn't do it anymore, and he's not getting back into it. But he's done it for a while. That he's got a, a plethora of, of tips. Okay. Um, so, when you're doing like online games, it's a completely different thing. The the. The problem with, with streaming like that is you are constantly talking. Yeah. And you're describing everything that you're doing and, and how you're feeling and blah, blah, blah. I prefer this because podcast format is a lot different. And, and this is why, good gosh, like, you, br you bring up the constantly talking, constantly having, a, like, some sort of commentary or narration on something rather from chat or something that pops in your head. Good God, man! There are these, there's these V Shoujo Hollow Life uh, VTubers. Okay. They're doing their streams like six to seven hours long. Yeah. And yeah. They're getting thousands of people watching them like right then and there, mm -hmm. throughout the entire time, and it's like, oh my gosh. And then that's it. They're able to hold a freaking conversation. That's the success. Yeah. That's the success. And the other thing is, is like our format is podcast, so. Our target time hack is 60 to 90 minutes. Yeah. Anything less than that, people will not watch. Because it's like, what's the point? So, we we keep track of, of what we're doing here. Well, 